Hardleg and his friends, they're gonna play a lot of games. It's Legs Play. And welcome back to Legs Play. Hardleg Joe here with not Hardleg Joe. And a dead moose. And a dead moose. We killed it off screen. I assume you know who we are by now. There's only like a hundred of you still watching. It's okay. Ron's here too. Ron, yes. Thank this you. This is not an episode where Ron was cut out. Yeah, you could tell because of the Ex thumbnail. Unless they cut me out later. <laughs> that would be very difficult and time consuming. And I'm not about that life. Hooray. <laughs> I'm not about that whole time consuming things. And editing. Yeah. Get a run on. Where are we going today? Um, uh, a place where there are things. Oh, hey, it? Father Servo's up there. Oh, okay. So we can go visit Father Servo. No, again. he's like level 40. Oh, okay. His level increases. You you should increase your level before you consider it. Or it will take forever. I guess it'd be fine if you cut it, but why would you? Ha, take that. I did still. Yeah. I always forget about that, uh, just where you just blast them with your pod. I mean, like, in the, uh, you know what I mean. Yeah. In the non-constant way. Um, what was it? Someone told me how to... how to do the pod jump, and now I can't remember it. There it there is. There we go, woo! You gotta do it on there, on your up jump. <laughs> That'll come in handy it's later. In. Dang. You forgot your spears. Yeah, thanks, Arjan. You I did appreciate good. it. I you forgot how to thing. do that. Yeah, it's like you gotta shoot and jump at the same time. Yeah, it's it's jump, and easy. jump and shoot, man. Yeah. Except jump and not. shoot, man. Jumping shootman? Yeah. Hey. I... <laughs> nice punch. Whiff. They call him the Whiff Master, and by they I mean just me. You did it. I heard I you. call him the Whiff Master. No one else. Take his money. Yeah, we were probably. I probably should have fished off camera, but uh, I didn't. So this episode may include a little bit of fishing, but that's fine. We could do it like ten minutes. We have a podcast. You guys have podcast questions, right? Uh, uh did, what? <laughs> oh, that was very good. <laughs> But wait, if I'm here, and you're, you're here, here, then, uh-oh. <laughs> Made an oopsie. Oh. Uh... See, if I would have known we were going to be fishing, I would have acquired some podcast questions I mean, you from get, people you don't know. You, you got phones, don't you? I mean, yeah. Why, I mean, why don't you play Diablo Immortal, then? <laughs> uh, uh, Too soon! Too soon. Because uh, the game's not out yet. Yeah. I wouldn't play it anyway. True. I, I don't mean, play any mobile games. I didn't even play Pokemon Go. What makes you think I'm going to play Diablo Go? <laughs> you know what? I would probably play a Diablo Go, <laughs> just saying. Yeah. But <laughs> only if they didn't have it instead of Diablo 4. Do I get to catch demons? <laughs> no, you you go around and fight demons. You go and you walk in some old man's backyard. What the hell are you kids doing here? There's a demon out here and he might have <laughs> sweet drops. I'm trying to get a sword from this demon in your backyard. Oh, I would. I feel that would traumatize the elderly. Cool. Whee! That's a pretty good jump. Oh, my horizontal leap is so amazing. It's getting huge. Aw, oh, damn it. I hoped I could... I... What did you lock on to? One second. Uh... That thing. It's a moose. Oh. Well, I guess we know what happens <laughs> next. Well. It best be murdered then. You should have just said nothing. You should be like, ah, oh, that's an interesting rock you locked on to. Better <laughs> bypass it. Uh, yeah, it's a level, it's a high level moose. Oh, the moose's level scale with you. Oh. They will always be higher level than you. Even when you hit level 99. That's a lie. <laughs> level 300 moose. Yeah, we're going this way because we need one of those circuits or whatever. An elaborate thing. We Maybe need an it's elaborate, complex. a complex circuit, something for like a couple. And it said it was over here, and we also need like a hundred thousand dollars. I'm like, maybe we could partially get some of that around here. Um, but yeah, as far as phones, what was it? There's a uh, questions for like interviews, or uh, questions. Fuck. Questions. I, fuck. My favorite store. Yeah. 
But no, there was a, uh, I was watching Steam Train oh, play, oh, oh, no. I was watching Steam Train play Undertale, and they got to the, the part where they had to wait for, like, ten minutes. And so they just pulled up these questions, and they started asking them. you have to wait them. ten minutes? Uh, it's a spoiler. Oh, you got oh. it. Well, then. All right, checkmate. That was, that was easy. Checkmate, atheists. Yes. Haha! Eh. Eh. <laughs> 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 I've made it where I'm not supposed to be. Oh. No. Damn you it. almost made it where you were supposed to be. I wonder if there's anything up there. There's not, but I wonder. Boundary break. Boundary break all over the place. No, there's a, there's a forbidden technique involving uh, self-destruct canceling. That'll get you into the sky. Huh. I haven't actually done it myself because I, I'm not that talented. I've always wanted to float into the sky. Like in real life. I'm not <laughs> sure if anyone else has felt that. Comment in the comments. Maybe not float. So no, I guess you can float on, but still. No, I want to I wanna float ominously over things. <laughs> so I decided just for the heck of it to ask Google uh, podcast questions. And it actually came up with a thing that says five questions every podcast host should ask. Ah, well, welcome to the fishing cast. <laughs> yes, we're here to uh, to fish your personal data. <laughs> so let's see, your your first question would be. That's a joke, by the way, just just for the record, so you don't, you know. Yeah, we're not gonna take your personal data. Although, if you want to give us your credit card number, the three magic numbers on the back, and yeah. the expiration date, we could use that to defeat the machine menace. I'm glad you said it right. You're we welcome. have to destroy the machines. The machines. No, the machines are fine. But the machines. Oh damn it! I was hoping if I switched weapons, it would let me continue. <laughs> That'd be a really sick combo, though. Yeah, it'd be comboing like crazy. Maybe someday. What's this red square in the middle of town? Uh, that means there's something there. Huh? I Probably wonder what a it red is. square. It's literally just a red square on the map. <laughs> no. Maybe. The I. What could be there? The red square represents a red square. What could it be? Do you need anything over here? I don't think so. I gotta go around though because there's stuff in the way. Oh hey, uh, shiny, uh, shiny, uh, uh, tree sap. I can't wait till you get the thing that makes it so that items just come to you. Because I'm sappy. Clap along if you say like a room without a roof. Something something if you feel like a room without a roof. <laughs> What's this song I about? I don't know, be a thing like a room without a roof. <laughs> if you think I'm happy, baby, you're a room without a roof. <laughs> is this an original song? Yeah, now it is. Copyright Hard Leg Joe 2019. That's when this episode will be out next year. Ooh. Oh. Even Fancy. Though, yeah. Let's pretend that's the present. Man, could you believe that apocalypse? <laughs> <laughs> that shit was crazy. It was crazy. No, no! Oh, maybe, oh maybe man. it's down here. Gravity, what happened, man? Wait, where'd it go? Cool. Oh, square's gone. Why did the square gone? Maybe you placed that as a marker and then forgot about it. Come back, square. No, it's probably just, just gone. Whoa! Hey. He nicked you. Maybe we can't do it. Maybe we can't rest because enemies are nearby. You can't rest anyway. Because there ain't no rest for the wicked. You're not wicked, though. I, I think we are. What? No, you're Yorha. We killed dozens of sentient m robots. To be fair, they're evil machines. Oh. You are operating for the glory of mankind. I don't know. We, we learned Everyone's that they aren't necessarily... <laughs> As it turns out, like, sock puppets are leading this entire thing. <laughs> oh, jeez. Could you imagine? I'm not ready for that plot twist. You can't get up there. There's invisible walls in the way. Damn they it. They were put in place by the machines. <laughs> Damn machines! So there's nothing over here. I'm sad. There's That's a the big moral square. the moral of the story. Where are we going? Off this. Whee! Whoa. Oh, that works. <laughs> See, that's the thing. This isn't actually keeping me afloat. It's just my belief that it'll help me. Oh, that's very strong. I'm actually a witch wizard. I thought you had just been to Neverland. Yeah, what? Oh, hey. Hey, robot. 
I'm you too strong for you. You're too strong for me. I don't think those are both true. Also, I think someone... Okay. It took him a while to explode. That was kind of weird. He didn't want to die. He didn't want to go. He had a lot to, a lot going on. But it just... refused. Oh, it didn't refuse, though. It refused for like a second. Yeah, well, that's... That means it still refused. It mm. just stopped not refusing. There's a lot of enemies over here. Yeah. But they don't have hardly any money. Oh, I it's need, this place. I need a lot of money. Yep, let's go into the sewers. To the sewers! That way! Uh, there Follow that laser! That guy was level 3. Yep, I'm just targeting things as I go. Okay, there are no things to target. Huh. I didn't fire that time. You tried. That was entirely of its own accord. Oops. Accord's a pretty good character. <laughs> Down we go. Huh? Down we go. Down we go. Aw, oh, superhero landing. Her knees are in terrible condition. <laughs> They're android knees. It's cool, she can They're replace reinforced. them. They're reinforced. Do-do-do. Fishing podcast in the sewers. My name's Joe, and I am... Commencing fishing. Nothing wrong. Oh, that was food. great! No, he, he said, he said, my name's Joe, and I am... And then he said, commencing fishing. Oh, okay. It was very good timing. Relaxing. All right, James. Hit us with those questions. Oh, these are amazing. Um, so, uh, what are you curious about right now? <laughs> Thanks, Google. Where are these questions came from? <laughs> How Google. many how many fishing successes it'll take to get the pipe? I think that they meant in general. Is that the pipe? Purpose no. Unknown. Is that Azuka? Broken firearm. Yeah. Hey. Just gonna keep fishing in the same exact oh, here spot. There you go. Now that Google's getting deep later down the list. What's something you failed at? No response. Fishing. <laughs> Just now. <laughs> Recent. I've never failed. No. It was uh, that comic book I tried to write for several years. I guess I failed at that. I thought it was pretty good. Yeah, I, I just haven't. I now I need to come back to it though. That is one. Okay, so that brings up an interesting. Th well, I don't no, know. go on. I was gonna say it's kind of spoilers for Legend of Lefty, but then again, only like. Whoa. Hypothesis. Garbage. Hypothesis. Garbage. Oh, I bet Just you can like sell that heart. for like 1500 <laughs> People love garbage, what can I say? It's metal. Yeah, one, one of the things that, that's, uh, that's, that's really interesting to me that I've been thinking about more and more as I'm writing a story is how much, how much of a story changes depending on where you end it. Just mm. sort of like the fact that like, you know, uh, I guess the, the, the best example I could think of right now would be like, look at uh, Mark Zuckerberg. We're like, they made that Facebook movie where it's like, yeah, if you end the movie right after the success of Facebook, it's this like triumphant story where he's like, oh, he was alone and poor and then he became rich and, but he was still lonely. But it's still the, the fact that like, oh, he was a massive success. And then it's like, now he's a robot. Fast forward to like 10 years later and there's a whole bunch of trouble and people are blaming Facebook for like, the disappearance of truth itself from and like society. He is a robot now. Yeah. He was able to afford his robot body. Exactly. But it's just one of those things. It's like you know, who knows? Maybe he'll end up broke and penniless. And if you end the story there, then it becomes this like much more tragic figure. Or maybe he ends up like becoming the leader of an army or something. Hmm. What about uh the aliens movie? Like if you stop that series after the first or second one. It's a lot better. <laughs> well, not even the series, just the, the movie in general. Like, you know, okay, so the, the, the first Alien movie ends with Ripley getting off the uh, station. Spoilers, by the way. Oh, uh, yeah, the, this is also a... Ooh, is that okay? What? I mean, you kind of spoiled the Facebook movie, too. <laughs> the one that was based off true events. Look, based on a true story can mean anything. The Blair Witch thing was based on a true story. Yeah, these guys the did story? go into... The story was about the filmmakers going into the woods to record a film. Hypothesis. Garbage. 
It's a lot of trash in here, in this exact spot. Yep. Well, I need to move. Is that what you're saying? I should move? No, no, you're good. Okay. I'm just saying, there's a lot of trash in this exact spot. That you I mean, the fact that we're fishing it all in uh, what is like ankle-deep water doesn't make any sense. That's true. Uh, I like how you get a little, a little chair, though. Fuck, I was trying to... Where was I? Aliens. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so, like, you end aliens with her just, like, escaping... And it's like, okay, and well then it's a triumphant thing. You know, she escaped the aliens, all is all is well that ends well. Yeah. But you could have that movie go for another hour where, like, she drifts in space, and then she's, like, plagued by nightmares. And then, like, you could have a thing where, a whole section where she's, like, recovering from the ordeal she went through, and suddenly it changes from... Oh, is that it? Is that the katana? Iron pipe. It's the iron pipe! Hey, we got the weapon. That's it's my favorite weapon in the game. That's what we wanted, right? Yeah. But we still need to fish for a little bit more. You need so much money. Yeah. You need to continue your thoughts while you fish. Need to, yeah. Fishing thoughts. I've also just realized we are taking podcasting to a literal sense because this thing is called a pod <laughs> oh, and we just casted it. That's really good! <laughs> Clap. Well, I mean, there's the episode name. Yep. Podcast. Literally <laughs> podcasting. I hope this makes for a good thumbnail. Purpose unknown. Oh. What do you mean purpose unknown? It's a wheel. You don't, no, it's a tire. It's also wrecked. It's a wheel. It's fine. I don't know what it's for, but I know what it is. I don't get it. <laughs> it said tire of Tain, so he clearly knew, he knew what it is, <laughs> but... Good point. Oop. I mean, you could check the uh, the fishing log. You can check the data Report. on yeah, what it I'm is, good. and need... you'll see what they think this tire is about. I, I do need specialist data on tires. <laughs> also gas canisters, and broken firearms, and this, a pipe. This episode is already long enough without us going to the fishing log and like, let's read about tires! What? Let's just read about tires, that'd be fine. No, we, we've got to be podcasting. Oh. Uh, um, podcast, oh. podcast, podcast. Pod, pod, pod. Ooh, podcast. is that something new? What is, is it's that, a battery. Is that a Nintendo 64? It is a battery. Hey, fish encyclopedia no, updated. No, they, they took the Nintendo 64 out. Oh, sad state of affairs. It was originally in the Japanese version you could fish up a Nintendo 64, but they removed that from the North American one. Oh, it wasn't in the, it's still in the Japanese version though? Yeah. All right, pause the pause the whole recording. We gotta go get the Japanese version of the game. Come back to this point in the game. Come back, yeah. Redo <laughs> everything. Obviously, it's not called the Nintendo 64, but it is. Is it called in your house? I don't. I don't remember, but that'd be very good. I would. I would redo. You have to game for the glory of mankind. <laughs> <laughs> That's. I already game like that. Play your hot cart. <laughs> it's a me, your hot. Glory to mankind. <laughs> Oh, fuck, that'd be really good, actually. Oh, I want Mario skin for 2B. <laughs> what, like, a, just a, a hat? No. You gotta have the overalls, you gotta have the red shirt and everything. No, I, I I want, like, a, like, it looks like she's in a big, like, mascot costume. Oh. <laughs> like a big, goofy Mario that, like, extends her, her pixels out, like, a foot. Dang. <laughs> would that increase her hitbox? Yes, but it would be worth it to be Mario. I want to be able to up B jump, too. Woohoo! What if you just hit B twice? Uh, 2B? What's Mario's 2B? <laughs> I don't know. I think I'm out. Of, I, think I I'm... haven't played the new Smash, so. Yeah, me neither. Do you, Gosh, do you even have a, a, a Swatch? I I don't. You? I do, but I don't have any plans to get that. Oh. Well, why not? That seems like it would be a, the, the one thing that everyone wants to switch for. Yeah, the problem is you have to do you have to pay for an online subscription to play online, and I don't have anybody to play with. Ah, uh, hmm. Good point. You could bring it over here and bring a TV too. And we could do a no, video. No, you're, pl you're playing on my tiny little. <laughs> say you're gonna play with the left hand one, and I'll play with the right hand one. I mean, actually, I don't know if you. Can if do I that. if I bring my own controller, can I play too? Do you, I guess. Do you have a Switch controller? I mean, I I plan to get one soon. <laughs> Just the controller? Just the no, controller. No, no, I, I have an actual reason. Because one of the non-legs I occasionally hang out with will occasionally 
occasionally, on occasion, uh, come over and we'll play Switch games. It's a pretty good time. We play Octopath Traveler. It's a very good game. If you haven't played Octopath Traveler, I highly recommend it for the Switch. Is it two-player? It is not. Then why do you need another controller? Why? Because I want a controller. Also, I can't. Pl- I can play Smash then. Oh, okay. Also, I think I fished out the entire. Wow. The entire sewer. I guess you're done then. I've cleaned everything. Podcast over. Good job. All right. The no more casting the pod. Okay, well, now there's one more place we need to try to go. Uh, but that is not there. No, it's on your map. Um. Yeah, we'll get there. Go. Go ahead and bring out the next question. Yeah. You could fish off the uh the bridge. Yep. In the, uh, the park. That's where I'm going. Aw, oh, yeah. So for some reason, the next question is, what is your go-to order at your favorite hometown restaurant? Hometown restaurant. That sounds so sterile. I'm trying to think if there even is a hometown restaurant. It used I... to be Eat Right. Oh, yeah. And now they're gone. Oh, they're gone? Oh, yeah, they closed down, like, two years ago. No! I wanted to go back there eventually, oh, I'm even sorry. though I had to be there too. What about years. Uncle Bill's or whatever it's yeah, called? Yeah, I think the lady had a stroke or something. Oh, I've never been to Uncle Bill's. It's not very good. I've ne- I've never heard. I've heard like one person be like, "They're all right," and everyone else is like, "They are garbage," and you feel like garbage when you eat there. I love the music in this place. It's kind of loud. Yes. I always have to turn it down when we get to this part. You can see behind the curtain. How long can they dance for? Oh, yeah, I guess we could tell the girl that John Paul doesn't care about her. Oh, yeah, there's a marker right there. Did you give my gift to Master John Paul? I must know what he said. Well, he said it was a mere trifle. Such insight, such truth. He sees at the core of things in a way others cannot. I shall follow you for the rest of the days, Master John Paul. That's a long time. I mean, it would be if we didn't kill her. You could. Yeah, you I don't could kill to, her right now. I don't want to risk the quest breaking. That's fair. Item. Also, I guess we should go to the desert and tell the other girl. Well, the third one's just in the village. You didn't even talk to her. We did. You did? Yeah, we talked to her when we got the other quest. Oh, what'd she say? Um, pretty much the same thing. She was just like... That sounds about right. I love Master Jean Paul. He's got a big robot dick. Oh, he's so cool. <laughs> I ever tell you about how cool he was because it's super cool. <laughs> There's no way this is picking up because this voice isn't good for podcasting. Yeah, if I go to go to Eat Right, it's a little diner, I usually get a burger and fries. I really like burgers and fries. The combination of the two is very nice. How about you, Mr. Sh- Mr. Ron? <laughs> Mr. Ron, Sean? Sean Ron? Oh, man. You know, I don't really eat anywhere around here. I guess, uh, nothing really hometown. I go kind of corporate. I go to Sonic. I get a large strawberry slush. And tats! I rarely get tats unless I'm bringing them to someone else. I enjoy tats. I know. Are these fishing spots connected? No. This fishing spot is completely independent of the other one. Then how come it's taking so long? Man, I don't know. Maybe you broke it. Is there a limit to how much fish there you can fish? There is not. You can fish a potentially limitless amount of fish. And in some places you have to. How about uh, you, James? Do you have any local hometown buffets? Hometown no. buffet's pretty good. I remember one I don't time really I went... Any now they're closed. Like... Remember one time when I was a kid, I went to a buffet for like breakfast with my friend and his mom, and uh, all I did was take like thirty pieces of bacon, <laughs> and they were like embarrassed to sit there and watch me eat a whole bunch of bacon. <laughs> and the guy behind me was like upset that I took pretty much all the bacon, and I was like, "It's a buffet; they'll have more." Maybe he should have got there first next time. Yeah, I was. I don't think I don't think fastest. that's gonna catch anything. Oh, I was super wrong. Uh, I Whoa! Hit, I hit Report stop fishing. Success. What the hell is that? A biggin. You caught an Arapalm machine. Huh. Arapalm. Let's Arapalm. try over here. Hopefully that's worth $10,000. I know uh, that you can also catch the non-robot version. Ah. Uh, 
pretty much anything you can catch the robot version of, you can catch the non-robot version. It's weird, I very clearly hit B to stop fishing. Oh, maybe it was all like, no, it was on your, it was on your hook the whole time. Huh. What's that? That's oh, a koi carp, you already caught one. Yep. Koi koi. I've been a fish man before. Oh man. Alright, what's the next one? So, out of all those, there's one more question on here, and uh, by far it's probably the best one. Uh, Google says you should always ask, is there something I should have asked but didn't? <laughs> A good question! This For is Google. how interview, interview good! I don't believe in Google. I mean, he's got it right there. Oh. I mean, I understand if you don't trust them, or well, if you don't I, like them, I but guess they, I have to re everything they, they now. do exist. <laughs> You know, pull in your fish hook. No response. I think that it was trying to trick you. If it took that long, it was probably being deceptive. Maybe. I believe this pod is an expert fisherman. We are podcasting. We're the son of a sailor. We're casting pods. The son of a shepherd? No. You dare mock the son of a shepherd? Oh. Good old Rolf. He's very good. We get him on the podcast. <laughs> the voice of Rolf? I mean, probably. We'd have to have a podcast first. <laughs> well, we already casted a pod. We're like halfway there. Yay. Cast oh, it's a killfish. Oh. Maybe a killfish machine. Nope. Just, just a regular, regular type. Killfish. Out you go. Whoa. Can you even see it over there? Barely. He's a tiny one. Alright, tell me more. Tell me more, more, tell me more, do 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 do. You can find a list of like a hundred questions to ask or something. Or, or we could get crazy with it. This party's getting crazy. Yeah, you see any good movies lately? No, I don't leave the house. I'm not saying you had to leave the house, I'm saying did you see them? Uh, no. Report. I don't see movies unless Success. I leave the house. Oh. For the most part. Was the last movie that movie we went and saw? Um, Deadpool 2? Yeah. No, I saw Infinity War after that. Oh, how was it? Uh, I liked it. I saw it with my mom. It was, it was very nice. You looking forward to the sequel? Uh, not really looking forward to it, but I want to see what they do with it. I mean, have you considered looking at comic books from 20 years ago? Uh, the Thanos is different. I mean, he's basically the same. Uh, he's not obsessed with God, or the God of Death. Yeah, death I, not I, being in it is pretty weird. Success. I doubt a version of him from the future is going to come back to his past self and be like, It didn't work, you just wasted all your time. Oh, that'd be a good move, though. I'm pretty sure that's how Thanos in the comic books, it was like, if I recall, it's like, him, Ghost Rider, and Silver Surfer are the only people that survived him annihilating all... He didn't annihilate half of it, he annihilated all life. That's very strong. And just those two existed... Oh, no, no, wait, and then there was, like, some other thing that, like, survived and then was building up to defeat him, and then old man Thanos went back to get young Thanos' help because he was too old to fight it, and then young Thanos was so disgusted by his older self that he decided not to kill everything. That's very good. <laughs> and it, Well, we know time travel's going to be involved. None of the protagonists had anything to do with anything. Oh, that sounds like comic books. All right, go, go ahead. But Wait, I want to I... say real quick, as long as we're on the topic of Thanos. Okay. You ever read any of those, uh, just Thanos comics? No. It's just things with Thanos doing evil stuff, as he does. Like, there was one where he just visited this guy every year on his birthday and ruined his life somehow. <laughs> it's just like when he's a kid, he's just showing up, he, like, smashes a bunch of stuff in the house, and his parents think it's him. And he just gets blamed for it, and it's a terrible birthday. Why, why would Thanos do that? And then there's another one where Thanos, uh, later on, shows up on his, uh... Catch. He's like 18, 17. He calls up his girlfriend, tells him he's Cut cheating blade. on him. Or tells her he's cheating on her. And basically makes it such a deep situation that it's very unlikely he would be able to get out of it. And he can, in fact, not. And then uh, later on, on a different birthday, he burns down his house. And he pretty much just shows up and hassles this guy every one of his birthdays. It just ruins his life because Thanos is a... he's kind of a bastard. It's just weird because I thought the whole point was that he wanted death, not misery. 
Ah, oh, man. Look, I think it's just because he's extremely evil. <laughs> he's just cartoonishly evil. Yeah, sometimes. Like, you know, like that time that he, uh... That he helped that old lady across the street. Ah, I see. Yeah. No other questions or things are, are needed for that. <laughs> that just reminds me, like, if either of you read Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy? Nope. I saw, like, half the movie. There's a thing, there's a reoccurring thing where there's a, uh, an immortal. They're like, the universe is full of, like, a hundred or so immortals who have all of eternity to figure out what to do. And this one guy decided he would use his time to insult every sentient being in the galaxy. Strong. So he goes around in a time machine and, like, the main character's trapped on this, like, deserted planet for, like, years. And then suddenly a spaceship lands and shows, he's like, <gasps> I'm saved! And this guy gets out, he's like, are you Arthur Dent from Earth? He's like, yeah. He's like, you're ugly and your hat looks dumb. You're stupid. And then he just leaves. <laughs> Strong. <laughs> And then later on, he's, like, stuck somewhere else in the same spaceship lands, and he's like, Are you Arthur Dent of Planet Xenon? He's like, No, I'm from Earth. He's like, Fuck! I'm in the wrong place! <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it just leaves again? Yeah, it just leaves. <laughs> it's okay. I believe he learns how to fly that time. That's a very good movie. Eh. I like the books a lot better. So That's I, fair. I found some uh, some possibly better questions. It says that they're fun to answer, so you tell you be the judge of that. Oh boy, I'm ready for fun. What do we got? And we'll uh, have... we'll start with this one. You're a new addition to a crayon box. What color are you and why? Wow, <laughs> this question is extremely racist. Can Anthrop we get away from it? Anthropomorphic <laughs> crayons. I'm darker than black. Oh. <laughs> yeah, is that, I think is that the, the official is name? Yes. And that is also the best way to describe it. Report complete. Well. It's also, what was it? Have you... It, this it, shouldn't be possible to fish it out, but I think you've done it. Bang. Reminds me, you know there is an official, like, the blackest black? Fanta black? Oh, jeez. I was thinking of the, uh... The box. For Cards Against Humanity. Oh, the biggest blackest box? Yeah. Yeah, I remember there's a guy I watch on YouTube who's, like, a lawyer who talks about, like, copyright stuff and, like, trademark stuff. And he was talking about, like, you can actually trademark, like, colors, like, in association with certain things. Like, Black & Decker has power tools that are black and red specifically. And if you use those same shades of black and red when you make power tools, because it looks like their brand. Oh, that's kind of neat. But they're like, oh, moose. Damn it. <laughs> But they're like, but you can't copyright stuff if it's, uh, or you can't trademark stuff if it if it has a practical use. So like the people who made Fanta Black tried to trademark it because they're like, there's apparently some special process to make this like black that is so dark like no light reflects off of it. Wow, is it invisible? No. It sounds like it'd be basically invisible. Or it absorbs all light. Oh. So it's just like it like. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Either way, it's just, it, I've told if you look at it, like, not in a screen, like, if you look at it in real life, it's, like, trippy black. Oh, jeez. And they, like, tried to trademark it, and they're like, it has practical uses for certain things that need to, like, that can't have light on them and stuff, so they couldn't trademark it. Oh, jeez, so they just wasted their time. Well, I mean, they still have, they still have a useful thing. Where are you going? I'm going to sell all my stuff real quick, and then I'm going to the desert. Desert. Yeah, talk to the last girl, the John Paul, and then we'll go back to the machine village. And, uh... Whatchamacallit. Whatchamacallit. We'll, we'll do the the one girl who needed the, like, clump, and then we've got, uh... And then, yeah, we'll turn in John Paul's thing, too. Stop that. Damn it. <laughs> I need the money! All right, James, question number seven. Right, I've been counting here looking for ones that don't suck. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm trying to remember. I actually have a a book upstairs called uh, "Sex, Drugs, and Cocoa Puffs" that has a <laughs> list of like ten involved questions to ask any person that you you know. Hmm. I don't know if one of you wants to go up and trounce around in my room and see if you can find it. That sounds dangerous. Yeah, I do have many traps. 
He's here for all your weapon-related needs. So I've got 10,000. Let's sell some stuff. Sell some fish. Um, uh, let's see. Wait, well, okay, key. For a second, I just go in through looking at the pictures of, like, uterus? <laughs> hmm. It's, That'd be pretty shady. It's got the same... Where did I find that? Um, oh, those are... Okay. That's what a you need. A gadget so elaborate, you don't know what it's for. <laughs> and you're an android. Yep. Um, torn book, torn manual. Tree sap, it's sticky. Can be exchanged for money. Kill Goodbye, killfish. Goodbye, crap. Goodbye, koi crap. Goodbye, koi crap machine. Ooh. Bye, Arapama. Bye, tires. Good night, moon. <laughs> Bye, gas cylinders. Goodbye, battery. You don't have to say goodbye to everything. Okay. Goodbye, broken fire. <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> don't sell the OS chip! It's not even worth anything! <laughs> oh, only 37,000. I'm not even halfway there! That's fine. See if you can upgrade anything. I need to save my money. Well, it's fine to upgrade stuff. If your weapons are better, you can kill faster. I guess, but... Uh... Also, I don't think you can upgrade anything, but maybe you can. Oh, you can upgrade that pipe! <laughs> I can upgrade the pipe! Oh boy, just like I always wanted to. I don't even use the pipe. 30 to 220! <laughs> Okay, so no, 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 it's very good. Look, look, you don't, you've got like 20 of every item involved in upgrading it. Doesn't it cost money too, it though? It costs 2,500. That's nothing. I'm good. I'm not even using the pipe. Yeah, but you might someday. It's very good. Then I can upgrade it then! <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he'll use it after you upgrade it. I mean, he might. Wait, wait, wait. At least buy chips. Chip sets. What? No! I need to save money! <laughs> Look, you'll get the money later. You don't need it all at once. I'm pretty sure I need it all at once. I mean, you do, but not, like, immediately. You've got some time. No, because I'm pretty sure this is the... I only have these two quests to turn in, and then it's like, uh... If... Well, yeah, but that one will stay open for a while. I thought you said if I, uh... No, no, it's the Jean-Paul one, I think, that closes. But oh, the, okay. the robot money, like, that'll stay there. So will Father Servo. Oh, okay. For a hot minute, anyway. I thought if I turned in the oil, then, like, all the quests in this area were, like, gone. What? No. Some of them. But not all of them. Okay, we'll just go to the desert real quick. Go ahead, find your questions. Um. Ask your question, Bridgekeeper. I'm not afraid. Uh, here, here's one that's weird. Then Describe the brought. color yellow to somebody who is blind. Ooh. Uh, Do you describe stuff to blind people by feeling? Oh. I guess you could use mouth noises. What would you do? You know that color you see black? It's like that, but the opposite, but not entirely the opposite. <laughs> How would they have the concept of black, though? That's because what they look They at. might see white. Either way. <laughs> no, you just simply ask them what color... Oh. <laughs> hey, what color do you see? <laughs> oh, wait. No, that's super rude. Okay, there's some blind YouTuber who does a whole bunch of stuff about like how you describe colors to blind people and whether or not they dream and... And he's like, I have a dream of a better tomorrow, and I'm like, that's not what most people mean. Wow, I never once considered if blind people dream. I just assumed they do. Or if they dream, do they dream... do they have images in their dream? Colorblind people dream in proper color. <laughs> Do they dream in Technicolor? Do they think there are colors that are only in dreams, but it's actually just that they can't see them? Ah. They let their dreams be memes? This is kind of a rude question. Possibly. Oh. Look at that building. Which one? There's a lot no, of No, no, the one straight ahead of you, just while you're walking. Oh, okay. It's like, it's it's tilted over. Like, it's just tired. It's, yeah, that's not how... How many steel beams are in there to hold it together like that? Many. Oh, that poor bastard. I mean, machines must die. <laughs> yes, also they don't feel pain. I hope not. But the robots feel pain. Or the androids. The androids do feel pain. The no androids were programmed to feel pain. Why? Why was I programmed <laughs> to feel pain? No one really knows. This is terrible design. They were also programmed to scream in agony. 
Yeah. But only sometimes. They're also programmed to feel jealousy and despair, oh, apparently. Oh, also, also love. You remember? Yeah. The combat lust. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's entirely Jackass's research. Jackass, third best character in this game. Whoa, hold on. Looks like some stuff didn't load here. Whoa. There it is. Ah, yeah. I was gonna say, this uh, moose should not be alone. That was weird. It's, a, it's just a simulation, it's fine. I thought maybe oh, I... Oh, you jumped on the moose. I thought maybe because I had done stuff in the desert, they were like... The yeah. desert is deloaded forever. Yeah. There is Bye, no Jack more guess. desert. Oh, I wonder if I could use the moose to defeat her challenges. Unfortunately, if you get hit, you still take damage. Whoa. Oh man, this is... The game is having some troubles! <laughs> Uh oh. <laughs> I've That's never it. seen this message before. <laughs> That's new. Oh, what have you done? <laughs> Saving is possible. You may want to. Oh, jeez, we've entered the ground zone. All right, you know, let's get a podcast question while we're in the ground zone. All right. Uh, if you could get rid of one state in the U.S., which would it be and why? California. Florida. Well, you would completely opposite beaches right there. California. I like California. That's what, what I apologize. Of, that's where a lot of movies and stuff are made. Yes, that is why. Oh, well, found out the why there. Wait, why, why are you going back? To save. Oh. Why the saving's it? possible now. <laughs> but I can't. Why is the why yeah, you have to Florida? jump off the move. Why Florida? Because Florida's a blight on humanity. Ah. Look, we need Florida Man. No, we don't. He's the hero we deserve. Florida's like all the craziest people decide to live there. It's all the single craziest person. Oh, oh. you talked to 9S instead. Never change, 9S. Okay, there we go. 9S, never change. Huh. There we go. Super move speed was too fast for anything to handle. For the glory of mankind. Yep. I hear Joe might like this one. <laughs> you have been given an elephant. You can't give it away or sell it. What do you do with it? Eat it. <laughs> oh, well, that was quick. Strong. <laughs> yeah. Have you been planning for this? Yes. <laughs> How would you eat it? Um, how do you cook an elephant? Very carefully. Like, would you eat? Like, how would you cook it? Um, alive. Whoa! People would be very disappointed. Wait, <laughs> where am I? I don't think you've been here. Small recovery. You yeah, love I, those. I hate those. Oh. You're talking to 9S. You know what? The moose is gone. No, he's not. The moose is not gone. The moose is not dead. Yet. Where are you? Huh. How'd you get lost? I don't know. I thought this was the way to the big desert. desert oh, you gotta place. go to the right from here. Oh, okay. Let me get rid of all these machines first. Explosions that the game can't handle! They blew up each other. Yay. That's something poetic about that. Yeah, have you ever have you ever heard the term like a white elephant gift? Uh it's a gift nobody really wants. Yeah. You know you know where the idea came from? Huh. I imagine someone gave someone a white elephant and they're like, What am I supposed to do with this? Eat it? Happy birthday <laughs> to the ground. <laughs> <laughs> there, there was a uh, a sultan in uh, the the early Ottoman Empire, and he he had a whole bunch of albino elephants. And oh. uh, if 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 there was someone that he thought betrayed him, but he like couldn't prove it, um, like legally or whatever, what he would do is he would give them a white elephant as a gift, because their elephants are notoriously difficult to take care of and maintain. Like it costs mm -hmm. a lot of money to feed. But if they let it die, it would be a grave insult, insult to, to the, the Sultan. Oh, that's... So he's like, here, take care of this elephant. I hope you have the money. And, like, there are stories of, like, a couple guys who basically went bankrupt trying to take care of the elephant. Oh. Is that similar to how there's an elephant in the room? I don't know about that one. Man, that's really insightful. Just give your enemies a gift they can't handle. <laughs> It's, it's the, the thing about the whole royal court system is like, I can't get rid of it, it would be an insult. My favorite thing about royal court systems is that you can look at some Disney movies and just get a pretty good idea of it. Moose doesn't want to go in there. 
Failure! No. That right back to murder. <laughs> I guess. Why have you betrayed happens. me? If you had gone the full way, we could have jumped off the cliff and you would have had a quick painless death. Oh jeez. Was that your entire plan? Yeah. That's... What do you think I'd ride a moose and not want to murder it? <laughs> I was hoping there was some character development here, no. but I can see we're yet a ways off. I will trust the machines far before I trust them, the 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 moose. What about what if there was an alliance between the mooses and the machines? I would be surprised. Ah! Am I? Am I? Did I? No, I had it. <laughs> For some reason, it wouldn't let me. Run. Ha! All right, whatever. Dust in the wind. All I am is dust in the wind. Yeah. Okay. Okay, there we go. <laughs> it was neat for a few seconds, and then it stopped being neat. <laughs> oh, pick up that item. I, I intend to. Thank you. Hooray! I pick no. up every item. I have Plot twist. Don't pick up the item. Wait, why is there a red dot over there? What? That's the, uh... Oh, that's way off of the side. Okay, I thought it was, like, in... Oh, uh, no, it's not very close. Oh, this is where the vocals kick in. Uh... Oh, wait, damn it, I missed Or maybe it the... It just finished loading, the uh, vocals. nuclear... Oh, oh, I don't know the words. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> if you would, if you could. You're there, delivery boy. Pray tell what Master Jean Paul thought of my present. <laughs> oh, I was hoping 9S would continue to go. It's like, there's my boy. He called it a useless piece of junk. Such <laughs> cruelty. I've barely the words for it. When I think about his wanted sadism, it makes me ooh. Uh. <laughs> All right. And then she sand surfed away. <sighs> this is exhausting. He doesn't care at all about anyone but himself. What? <laughs> and yet his followers just keep talking about how great he is. What's the point of all this? And what's he even getting out of it? Maybe you should ask him. What? Did you just bleep out Jean they, Paul's name? They bleeped out Jean Paul. Why? Because you can't say that in America. You can't say Jean Paul. No, Jean Paul is a particular. Uh, I think he's a an entity, such that it is, <laughs> and therefore his name is copyrighted. Huh. What? You'll notice they haven't said it yet. They couldn't get the rights. That's. Oh, weird. it's hella dumb. Weird. But they can write it. Oh yeah, big time. Interesting. That's completely different things. I'm gonna have to look that up later. I mean, I probably made up half of it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go ahead, James. What were you gonna say? He's gonna say a question. That also this might like have the, been a lie. This is like the only last one that's on this list that seems like remotely interesting. And it's just because it's so fucking weird. <laughs> go. A penguin walks through that door behind you right now wearing a sombrero. What does he say and why is he here? <laughs> <laughs> and he's here because, uh,. Uh, my parents bought a penguin for some reason because they are very misguided about wh who I am and what I like. <laughs> I bet your dad would put a sombrero on a penguin. I don't think so. Uh, it I... seems very unlikely, but I can't think of any other reason why it would be here. Come here, Rocco. Are those rocks moving? Is Rocco the penguin? No. Rocco is a Can we still cat. pet him? We're going to pet him anyways. I'm petting Rocco. No one can stop me. I dragged him over here. I mean, I could try to stop you, but I don't see why I would. Yeah, I mean, okay, honestly, you're, you could probably stop me. You're just doing my job for me. <laughs> ah. I'm legally obligated to pet. Okay, uh, here's a fun question. I mean, it's not really of a relate to that, but, uh, Mr. Aimless. Yeah. Do you remember, from the first game, a kingdom called Facade? Uh, I'll give you a hint. It was in the desert. For server? Oh wait, that's the uh, that's the one that had like the sort of like Incan Mayan kind of looking. It buildings. was a pain in the ass to get around in. 
Yes, it was. That place is a friggin' maze. Do you remember anything about those people? So they were I remember them masks. wearing masks. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Because that's what I all the, the masks robots and here they do. They were like very tribal. They wore masks, and they had one other interesting trait about their society. I'll give you a hint. There were about a hundred thousand of them. Robots? Rules. Oh, rules. They were a very rule-governed people. I mean, we have like a hundred thousand laws. Those are like rules. No, these are different. Oh, these okay. are numbered rules. We're not like, Law 8614. No cat shall walk on a leash. <laughs> it is forbidden. A man <laughs> without a shirt cannot drink beer from a bucket on the sidewalk of St. Louis. Is that true? Yeah. If you have a shirt on... Or if it's not from a bucket, or if you're not on the sidewalk, it is fine. So if I stand in the middle of the street with a bucket full of beer, with, that, my, it, with my shirt off, it's it, cool. It's not illegal per se, but there might be things about that that are illegal. Like I guess it's public in intoxication road. they could probably put you don't, for. They don't recommend it, is pretty much the moral of the story. Yep. The, do you recommend the cat? Oh, he is, he is attacking me. This and is fantastic. Are you rubbing his belly because he got bit by a raccoon there, and his belly is very sensitive? No, he just hates my coat. He probably still has wounds there. Oh, hope you did okay, Rocco. I mean, he had his surgery and everything. It cost a pretty penny, and an ugly penny. Why did he get attacked by a raccoon? Because he was outside doing stuff. Doing cat things. We, we assume it was a raccoon. That was like about the size of the bite mark. Could have been an opossum. Yeah, or something similar size. Oh, he meows. <laughs> Usually he meows when he wants outside. That's like the only time he ever talks to me. Oh. He's got he's got my coat gripped in his claws, and he's giving me this open mouth. What are you doing? Look. <laughs> Why do you exist? What are you doing? Let me go then! I think he's stuck. You gotta, no, he's no, not! He, he wasn't, he was just <laughs> hold it on for some reason. <laughs> he's angry about this. He's like, hey, can I have that coat? It's a pretty good coat. <laughs> oh, he wants to eat it. No one knows why. Alright, well. It tastes like deer. You know what? I think that's probably it for this episode. Next time we'll be back. We'll, we'll just get back to the place. We accomplished some fishing. We, we get some podcasting. Some, uh... We'll turn in these two. We'll turn in all three of the quests because you said the money guy will still be there even if we turn in the oil, right? Oh yeah, money guy will hang out for a while. Okay, so we're gonna turn in all the quests and then we'll probably progress the story next time on Lake's Play. Progression. Comments in the comments if you comment in the comments. Comments in the comments if you comment in the comments. If you like these guys.